Yeah, a lot of progress being made. You know, it's been about a month or two months since cameras were allowed on the bridge to see some up close progress. You can take a look behind me from the American side. You can see there's still a lot of work left to do. You can have a lot of construction crews along that stretch, and then you have the crane up top. But uh, I want you to take a look at the closer the video that we got that shows the construction and progress from the Canadian side. The Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority opened up its site to the media this afternoon. This news conference began with a sentimental tone. Teresa Sims, an indigenous knowledge keeper of the Upper Mohawk Turtle Clan, provided a blessing of the bridge. It is to highlight the bond between the two countries, the U.S. and Canada. And while it is great to see all that work up close, let's not forget all the progress and all the amazing views of the, the Gordie Howe Bridge, especially on a nice day. It was only a month ago when we saw that final steel beam put in place. It was a poignant moment between the two iron workers on the bridge who shook hands. Now this showcased the partnership that has been years and decades in the making between the U.S. and Canada. Most importantly, though, this bridge will help allow more traffic into both countries and avoid those potential traffic jams. Once open, the Gordia International Bridge crossing will transform how trade moves between Canada, the United States, and Mexico. We will shorten travel times, add capacity and redundancy to facilitate growth, and provide on-site amenities in, to enhance our customer experience. Now, for some perspective here, about 40,000 people use the, the Ambassador Bridge every day, and that includes many truck drivers who carry, excuse me, who carry hundreds of millions of dollars of supplies into both countries with that Gordie Howe Bridge. It is going to share the wealth. Live here in southwest Detroit, I'm Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.